Hello, everybody. Uh, Dr. Crack here. Going to show you the new high hospital grade quality plastic slabs from PSA. Um, just got these cards back. Um, I had several graded for a local gentleman. He does not want this card in the PSA slab. Asked if I would crack it out for him, and I said I would. Uh, and I found out that these are the new um, hospital-grade plastic. A typical slab takes would take me anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 seconds to crack it out. I can go very fast um, and not damage the card. These, however, are extremely difficult. I need to come up with a different method than what I currently have. I'm thinking maybe like a band saw or a hacksaw might be a better option. Um, but for right now, we're going to do it with the old tools and show you the hard way. Uh, all I've got is the uh, edge cutting pliers. Um, you have to cut three of the four sides in order to get the card out without damaging it. When you do two sides, you can spread it apart and maybe get the card, but you might damage the card. I don't want to damage any of these cards. I want to make sure that I'm preserving what uh, quality they are in. So I am going to show you um, how to do it. You want to, unlike before, you could take a great big snip. These things here, this, this plastic is very hard. So you have to take little tiny snips at a time. So this is going to, I'm going to show you how you do this. This is going to take me a while. Um, the last one that I did took me almost five to seven minutes instead of 15 seconds. So um, I thought I would get a video out, show everybody what the new uh, way is. I don't want anybody wrecking any cards, and I don't want anybody getting frustrated with this new slab. They are very durable. Um and they are very hard to crack, so I am going to give PSA credit where credit is due. Um, you got to give them credit. They they certainly made these slabs more durable and harder to get out. A normal slab I would have had done already. These things, because they're soft, it's a softer type of plastic. As you can see, it just kind of rolls right up you want to make sure that you stay away from the card so you want to you want to do the edge of the card because they will curl up it'll just curl up like this here and you want to make sure that you're cutting right on the seam where they are where they sealed the edge if you get too close to the edge cutting this won't do any good so you got to get it, make sure that you're not too close to the card, but you're close enough that you get the actual sealed portion of this done. Um, I did a few of these last year at the National. There were a few of these uh, that were out in test. And uh, I can tell you they are not any fun to crack. This kind of takes the fun out of this. But I can't have a name like Dr. Crack and let PSA beat me, so I did have to show everybody how this is able to be done. It's harder, but it's not impossible, guys. And that's why I'm thinking maybe a bandsaw um, might work better. But... Uh, so I go along the bottom, you can pick either side, and then I'm going to go along the top and uh, do it as well. Don't know if anybody's timing this. I guess the video is started when the video started, so we'll be able to time how long this takes. These are just little by little, but you don't want to get too close to the card which is why you go very little snips. If I tried to take a real big snip, I could possibly damage the edge of the card, which I don't want to do.
you do have to have strong hands to do this as well. These are my hands. Uh, my hands gonna hurt when I get done with this. A lot of silence. I can't talk during the whole thing. Maybe I should have uh, should have been playing some background music or something here, so you guys aren't completely bored. If you go to my YouTube page and you see this, you'll see the other video that I did to show how to crack the slabs about a year ago. That's a two-minute video, and the actual cracking of the slab takes about 30 seconds or less. You really don't want to take too big of a chunk off here because you don't want... You don't want it to crack into the card. This is a Monopoly Purple Wave Victor Wembenyama. I was hoping he'd get a 10 on this, but obviously we missed something on it. I don't know if it's centering or what. The surface was real good. I cleaned it up and still came back at 8. I would have left it in the eight and sold it as an eight, but this gentleman wanted it cracked out. So who am I to argue? I am cracking it out for him. I'm almost thinking that maybe I could use a bigger, um, V pliers for the top where it's not so close to the card and it maybe wouldn't damage so this wouldn't take quite so long but for right now I don't have a bigger one I'm just showing the video so everybody can see how hard these things are to get out and to give PSA their kudos for coming up with a new slab that is it's actually very clear. It does weigh, feels like it weighs a little bit more than the other slabs, which I guess they said it did. Well, you got to be careful when they shoot out like that. So as, so as you can see, I've got two sides done. You could pry. The problem is if you pry and that card sticks in there, anything at all, you could end up damaging the card, getting it out. I don't want to see anybody getting a damaged card. The nice thing is these, these shards don't typically go flying all over the place like they did with the other ones because it just kind of rolls up because this material is so much softer. So you don't need any special eyeglasses. It does make a ton of little, little shards, but nothing really goes flying other than every now and then, like you saw that, uh, that curl. You heard it ting as it hit my water bottle sitting off to the side here. All right, we have two sides down, one side to go, guys. I hope I'm not boring you with this, but I did want to, like I said, I wanted to get this out, get it on the internet, and show everybody. I did miss my, due to work, I missed my Wednesday night live feed last week. I will be back Wednesday night this week, 7 p.m. Central, so should have a pretty good show planned for you guys. Talk about some hobby news and a few plays to help you guys make some money. Right now, if you guys got uh, basketball players, if you know Ant-Man, his cards spiked, then they lost a couple games and they dropped. And then uh, now it looks as though his card started to come back up a little bit again. Now that they beat, knocked out the Nuggets, I don't know who your picks are, but uh, I think the Celtics are going to beat the Pacers. Um, I think the Celtics are going to win it all this year, but I could be wrong. I was disappointed that uh, Shea got knocked out of the playoffs, but I'm happy for 
Carl Anthony Towns. As you guys know, I am a huge Kentucky fan. So, the other thing that I did have happen for the first time ever, guys, is in this order I had a couple of the uh, tops now thicker LeBron 40,000 points um, cards, and two of them came from PSA. I don't know what happened. They came cracked. So I have to open up a case with PSA now to get them fixed. All right, so here you go, guys. There it is. Now you can take this and you can separate it. And this card comes right out, and it is undamaged. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informative, and good luck cracking this new slab. If you got questions, reach out to me. I'm always here to help. Thanks, guys.